everybody here. I'm with Oliver Kioyan, the money boy. I'm the money man. Uh, first week of Premier League. What's what's the ones? What's the standout for you? What? Uh, who surprised and who disappointed? I uh, was disappointed by Liverpool, um, but I mean, obviously Fulham back, you know, back up into into the Prem. Great performance, uh, but just probably the worst I've seen Liverpool play under Klopp um, ever. You know, mm. uh, really just disappointing sort of performance from them. And you kind of you saw last season. I mean, that's a big thing to say, like in the first week. But you know, Liverpool won, uh, lost two games last season, mm. and they lost the league. You know, so it's it's frustrating. You know, as a fan, to see them dropping points against a side where they should be winning. You know, look, they still got a point. Um, but that shouldn't be, though, so what you're saying after Liverpool versus Fulham game, which should be three points sort of in the clear. Um, I thought Tottenham were very good. Punished, you know, punished Southampton 4 1. I'd actually called a draw mm -hmm. in our show. So, so they surprised me a bit. Um, expected Chelsea to win by a little bit more than just one goal. Thought Arsenal was solid to go out and do 2 0 over Palace. Um, mm -hmm. But Palace, but, played, Palace played well in the second half. I thought they were yeah. very unlucky not to get a point. Yeah, but I mean, uh, it's nice, nice that, that Arsenal have just taken that form, you know, from preseason into the first game. Um, yeah. And then, most surprising, probably Leeds beating uh, beating Wolves, mm -hmm. you know, 2-1. Uh, you were quite vocal about that in the week. And uh, what's his name? Ted Lasso. And, Ted Lasso. <laughs> so it'll be interesting now. Um, who do Leeds play this weekend? Uh, See, like the odds have gone down for you would expect uh, you'd, you'd expect Wolves to have lower odds against Fulham, but I think given Fulham's performance and Wolves' performance, they're now pretty evenly stacked. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's the first week, and you can never take too much from that. But that's sort of uh, sort of my take. Yeah, I think that for me, you know, I want to be a Man United fan. I mean, I did say I did say that uh, I didn't think that they that they'd beat Brighton, mm -hmm. and they didn't. But, 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 but you know, yeah. I was surprised by a, a Brighton victory. Um, I don't know what you know. You've got, you've got such a mess at that that club right mm. now. You know, it's. Um, I don't know if they've got the right coach again. <laughs> yeah. Just in terms of him as a control freak, you've got, you've got the disturbance of, of Ronaldo, you know, in terms of goes against the very things that and how preaches and says he stands for. Yeah. Know, leaving at halftime on this and uh, at the, the last exhibition mm. game. Um, so to me, Man United. But their slowest transfer window, you know, in a while too. Mm, yeah, yeah. So, I thought that uh, Man City, although they won convincingly, they didn't look that imposing. I mean, they were playing. It was almost as like they were playing keep away. They had 833 passes in that game. I think they completed 758. But it was different. Anything. It was com completely different to the way Man City have approached uh, playing in, yeah. in the past. You know. It was almost they were they were very content to keep passing the ball backwards in their own half. Um, there was no urgency. Mm. Um, you know, they're usually a team that gets that gets a lot of corners. They got four, um, and uh, I was a bit disappointed in West Ham in terms of West Ham's uh, didn't press well. Um, put yeah, them I think under no it, pressure whatsoever. If a team's got that much possession. Um you know, it, it, it's also high-risk football to an extent because you, you're at the risk of a team with a heavy press turning over possession and, you know, and scoring from it. So like you're saying, it is something that you got to try to capitalize on. So I suppose you could argue, even if it was uninspiring, that City did a good job to actually manage to keep the ball for 800 passes, you know, without, without West Ham scoring. Yeah, they, but they were, you know, they were, they only scored the, the second one late in the second half. Mm. And, uh, you know, it only takes one. Do you think? Other. Do you see Holland being top scorer? Because I checked. So yes. I checked the odds. Uh, he's at two point two five. Salah's at five yeah. to one. So those are the two uh, with the. Well, Holland's. I mean, you know what's amazing is, is every week, the press report on the on the on the on the week that's been, or the week coming up, like it's the most important thing in the world. Mm. You know, it's a week. Uh, two weeks ago, we, the the press were all talking about Nunez. And uh, and Holland was was you know was coming in for a lot of stick, yeah. You know which is ridiculous. I mean, there's no doubt that uh, Holland to me should be the top goal scorer. I mean, yeah, his, his scoring is prolific, and uh, mm. he doesn't look out, out of sorts in the Premier League whatsoever. So you know, two goals last week, last weekend. Uh, yeah, and they got Bournemouth this weekend. So yeah, look, it's it, I don't like I said to be like last week. It's not going to take as many points to win the Premiership mm. um, as it did last year. I mean, there's a lot more parity. Um, and, you know, it, it's uh, it's just great to see the Premier League 
kick off. But it was a bit disappointing for me for Liverpool as well. Yeah. Uh, happy for Leeds as a Leeds fan. Um, great result for us against Wolves. We're going to need to take points at home. Mm. And, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens this weekend. So what are your thoughts for this weekend? Should we run through the... Well, how much did you get right last week? Four? I got four, you got five. Yeah. So we're off to the usual start. <laughs> <laughs> and your fantasy? Uh, fantasy, actually not bad. I think I got 60, 64 points. Okay. Yeah, I know you I know you triple yeah. captain Holland. Yeah, I did triple captain Holland. Uh, 89 points. 89 points, yeah. yeah. So to be in the top 100,000 of uh, 8 million. How many people playing that game? Millions and millions. I'm not sure the exact number, uh, but... <laughs> I think about 8 million. Let's see. Yeah, let me check what the average uh, for the first week was as well. Um... Yeah, I mean, the average was 57. Okay. Uh, so 84 is a good, good So 84, right? yeah. Sorry, I was on 69. 69 there. Yeah, 69. Okay, that's an interesting one. Um, but I believe you're going to be putting Mitrovic in your, in your side this weekend. If I can afford him, I mean, yeah. it's, um, I, but I went with Bamford. I'll probably take him out mm -hmm. and put in Mitrovic if I can. Um, Alisson let me down, obviously. Two goals. Yeah. Anyway, let's get into this week's matches. You could, first up, you've got Man United. Uh, no, you've got Aston Villa versus Everton. Yeah, that's an interesting one. I was quite surprised that Aston Villa went down 2-0, um, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, 2-0 to Bournemouth. They were playing away, so uh, at home. Um, a different story, but also, like, Chelsea didn't beat Everton as convincingly as I thought they would. <clears throat> they yeah. would. So I could seriously see this game being a one or draw. And there's a lot of people that believe that uh, Lampard probably will be the first manager sacked. Yeah. Well, a few candidates for that, Jay. <laughs> for the second year running. <laughs> for the second year running, yeah. Um, it's at Aston Villa, and teams are definitely, uh, they're definitely better at home. Um, Aston Villa, to me, you know, I haven't seen much, you know, I haven't seen much improvement in Everton's squad this mm -hmm. year, and uh, I fancy Aston Villa to, to win two, two nothing. Okay, Southampton Leeds. Well, you've got to give you what, what did you predict Aston Villa? I said one all. One all. Okay. <laughs> then you've got Arsenal Leicester. Arsenal Leicester. Um, Arsenal should win. I think you know playing at home, uh, good win against Crystal Palace. Like we said, good, yeah. good preseason. I really think they've just got something good going in that squad. Finally. Um, well, Aston, uh, Crystal Palace looked like a good, a decent side in the second half. Like I said, they they, mm. they took the play to Arsenal, and Arsenal were very lucky to come out of there with a with a with a win. Yeah, I mean, I just think they, you know, I think they'll just build on the momentum of of having still come away with the win, despite mm. you know having to field a lot of pressure in the second half. Mm. Um, I see Arsenal winning two one. Yeah, I, to me, Arsenal of the, their five signings, uh, they look good at times. Yeah. Um, and at home, they should take the play to Leicester. And Leicester's one of those clubs that didn't... Mm. I don't think they invested a penny in the off-season. Off no, and I mean, look, they drew, to, they drew to Brentford this past weekend, too. You know, it's not a, yeah, an astounding no. start. No. For me, 2 nothing to, to, to Arsenal. OK. Brighton, Newcastle. That'll be an interesting game. Right? That will be an interesting game. Um, Brighton are an ugly team, you know. They, uh, uh, I was chatting to someone about it in terms of how they perform against the top teams. and. Uh, he was saying that it's because they're almost like they don't really give the top teams the respect that some of the sort of mid-table teams give them in terms of like uh, sitting back and letting them kind of play. They just play, Brighton just plays the way Brighton plays and it seems to trouble sides. I mean, they beat Liverpool last season, you know, started with the win over Man United now. Yeah. Uh, Newcastle also looking good though. Um, I could see Brighton edging this one at home though. I can see a 2-1, mm. a hard 4-2-1. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm going to call it a, a, a one-one draw. Mm. I just see that, uh, you know, a um, bit of a letdown uh, week for for Brighton after beating Man United. I think that's the first time they've ever beaten Man United. Really? Away? Yeah, I believe so. But, okay. Um, Man City versus Bournemouth. Um, yeah. It'll be interesting. I think you you, you kind of get the sense that Bournemouth's uh, passion for their first week back in the Premier League may have been spent on Stevie G and his boys. Um, yeah. You know, I see, yeah, they're playing at the Etihad at as well. They're not at home. Um, yeah, I see three or four goals for this. I'm going to call it 3 0 to Man City. Yeah, I would expect that. You know, yeah. I, um, I'll be very interested to see if, if they have a different approach to, to the one they had against West Ham last week. But Man mm -hmm. City should, should easily beat uh, Bournemouth 3 0. Yeah, Haaland to score two. Southampton Leeds. 
So I'm to Leeds, yeah, how much do you take from the first week, I think, with a game like this? You know, is Southampton, should they have been bad? Like, is Southampton as bad a side to get down 4-1 by Spurs? You know, is Leeds as good a side to knock over Wolves in that first game? Like, it's, not, it's kind of like contrasting the uh, context that they're coming from. Mm -hmm. Southampton obviously playing at home. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think, I think that there was a particularly poor performance from them. I don't think they're that bad a side. And I don't think Leeds are gonna are gonna get a win. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised with a draw. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna say one all. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a draw as well. I don't think so. I think Southampton are one of those teams that will be will be in the relegation fight for all year. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I just an interesting club. I don't think they've done enough uh, this 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 summer to warrant not uh, being in that scrap. But yeah. equally, Leeds will be in that scrap as well. So. <laughs> I'd settle for a draw against Tottenham. Wolves, Fulham. It's um, interesting because the betting, the betting, uh, you can get uh, over two to one on Fulham to beat Wolves. And uh, what what I yeah, saw I mean, last week from Fulham, because you know you, you say it's the worst game you've ever seen under Klopp, but I thought that Fulham were, were, were good value. No, they weren't. I mean, Mitrovic just uh, he just kept doing the same thing to Van Dijk, uh, yeah. you know, and it kept working. Um, and he played very well in the Premiership. You know, I think he was their top was the top scorer. Uh, his Premier League history isn't as good. I think something like 20 goals. Championship. Championship, yeah. sorry. Uh, 20 goals in 108 appearances or something like that. So not as convincing. Um, again, with Fulham, is it is it sort of that first game uh, passion and, and, you know, vigor? Or do they actually have a squad that, like Leeds, you know, a couple of years ago come up and actually sort of manage to battle it into, like, the mid-table zone? Like, you can't know that after a week. Um, but I'm going to back Wolves at home to bounce back from last weekend. I'm going to go 2-1. I'm going to go 1-1. One, one, eh? That's not much mm. to choose between these two sides. Yeah. Um, and Mitrovic is striking. In the last 26 games, I think he scored 28 goals. Mm. Um, quite a prolific uh, record yeah. in any league. <laughs> um, Brentford versus Man United. <laughs> it's a tough game every week for, <laughs> for, Man, for Man United. United. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a great, uh, a great interview between Keane and uh, oh, who's the other? I can't remember the other lad. But I mean, talking about the state of Man United. It seems that that's all the people have been, you know, pundits have been talking about the state of Man United for the last two years since Alex Ferguson. As well. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do see uh, Man United having a bit too much quality for Brentford, though, and they're going to go with a one nothing United win. Yeah, I'm in agreement there, one nothing. Um, who do we have up next? Forest, uh, Nottingham Forest, West Ham. Nottingham Forest at home. Hmm. I'm going to go with a West Ham 2-1 uh, 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 victory. That's, that's going to be my score too. Yeah. So they didn't look too bad at times. I know they didn't have much possession and stuff, but it's, it's almost as if they, they were just hanging in, wanting to hang in, yeah. you know, being down one nothing to try and steal a point against Man City. Mm. And... Uh, so yeah, the context is very different playing a side that's just been promoted versus the side versus the side that won the Premier League last uh, last year. You know, it doesn't matter who you are, you're going to approach the teams with a bit of a different uh, yeah. different sort of um, respect. Not not uh, respect's the wrong word, but you, you're definitely going to adapt your game plan to an extent. Like you said, if you if you're looking to come away with a point potentially against City, you're looking to go grab three points against Nottingham Forest. You know, um, so yeah, two one for me as well. Chelsea Tottenham. Interesting. I mean, Spurs like really impressive. Chelsea, not as impressive. But uh, yeah, I don't know. You can't just count them at home. I think Chelsea also the stronger squad. Um, but look, Spurs have been Spurs have been good under Conte since he came. Yeah, um, you know, new signings playing well. Um, a two all draw wouldn't surprise me. Okay. This game. I I like I like Tottenham to upset Chelsea. Mm. Yeah, just in terms of. Um, I think that Chelsea are, are going to be a team that, that uh, finishes out of the top four this year. And, yeah. You know, one of the heirs apparent to to uh, taking one of those top four is uh, is Tottenham, and uh, I like their team. Crystal Palace. Liverpool, Liverpool at home to Crystal Palace Monday Monday night. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Crystal Palace score a goal in about three minutes and then Liverpool come back and win three one. It seems to be the Liverpool way. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah. No, it's we got to we got to kind of go down one and then uh, against these weaker sides mm. and come back and batter them with three goals. But um, 
Did Liverpool should win this one at the Anfield. Yeah, I can't see Liverpool having two bad games in a row yeah. right now, you know. No. They've got too much quality. So I, I'm going to go with a 3-1 Crystal Palace victory. My bet of the week, I, I, like, uh, I like Tottenham to beat Chelsea. What are the odds we got on that? Um, odds on Tottenham Chelsea are... Uh, you can get 85 to 40, um, which is That's over good. 2 to 1 yeah. on, on Tottenham. I also liked 85 to 40 on Fulham to beat Wolves. Okay. You know, and um, yeah, that's and I, I, I love the 13 to one about Crystal Palace to beat Liverpool at this stage of the year. You know, it's um, look, there's a reason why it's 13 to one, but it's too high. I mean, mm. I, would, I would have priced that game at no more than nine to one for a Crystal yeah. Palace win. Like you said, when it's like when you know when there's a disparity there. Just put a little bit of cash on it. Yeah. So you don't know what comes off. I mean, I think it was three seasons <coughs> ago, Norwich was uh, 26 to 1 to beat City in the opening game of the season, and they did. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, no, it's. Um, and, and I think there was a game with that. Didn't I call a game like that? I think I could call West Ham to beat Man City last year. Yeah. 3 2 is the exact same. Yeah. yeah. No, and, and they did. Yeah. Um, I've got a more conservative bet here. I've got uh, both teams to score, Southampton leads. Yeah. Manchester City to win by minus two, um, and then over two and a half goals, Nottingham Forest, West Ham, and that gives you odds of five to one. So I've just put a little fifty rand on that, at back two fifty while I'm still feeling out. Yeah, it's it, look, it's, it's, it's. I think I think a, a, a good punter will always take a few weeks to, mm. to see what unfolds, see who are playing well, who are who, you know who are out yeah. of sorts, um, and. Uh, you know, the, the, the Man United games for me get more and more interesting. I mean, Brentford are only f are 28 to 10, you know? To, yeah. And I like Man United at even money to, to, to beat Brentford. Yeah. It's not a bad bet either. No, not at all. But I mean, it's like Brentford should never be those sort of odds against, no. you know, United. Against the United, no. No, not at all. Anyway, it should be an interesting weekend. Thanks for coming in. And good luck this week with your fantasy team. You too. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Kev. Cheers, man.